I always took the longer road, the harder road in life, like with dating women. I grew up mostly around men, so when I came out the closet, I just took their lead, you know? I went and bought the equipment and everything because I thought I was supposed to be tough. Now I'm about ready to give him my gay gay card because I thought this shit was going to be easy. <laughs> I used to see all the dudes in my family. They had to cook or clean. They got to hang out with mad chicks. I was like, I want that role in my life. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have to be the defender of my relationship. Like, I remember these dudes being disrespectful to my girl, and she looking at me like, you just gonna let them talk to me like that? I'm like, now, hold on, baby. I just play a man, all right? <laughs> this shit is not real right here. <laughs> it's like, matter of fact, let me take this shit off right now. You just... Mm. <laughs> I got jumped by three dudes trying to defend my chick. You fucking beat my ass the whole time. I'm trying to tell them, they're like, what kind of man are you? You won't defend yourself. I'm like, I'm a lady man. Please, don't do that. <laughs> my whole 20s, I was this tomboy. Now I'm turning into my fucking mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird. I be getting all emotional around my boys. They're like, are you crying during the basketball game? I'm like, it's the way you said, hand me the ball. They're like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Now I feel like I'm fighting for the little man left of me. I'm like, come on, coach, put me back in the game. They looking at me like, my mans, you had a good run. 17 years of us not knowing you was menstruating? That's good stats right there. <laughs> now I feel like it's my retirement day, like I'm gonna have to hang my dildo up on the rafter. <laughs> man, it's been a very emotional game for me. You know, I like to announce my retirement after 17 years of being one of the fellas. You know, this is a very difficult decision, but I feel like this is best for me and my legacy. <laughs> I'm very proud of our, our accomplishments as a team, getting chicks for 17 years, as, as well as my individual accomplishments. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it's always that one dude trying to keep you in the game, like that dude from Paid in Full. He's like, <laughs> he's like, A.O. Tay, niggas cry every day, B. You good, right? You straight. I'm looking at him like, hey, yo, Rico, understand what I'm saying. You know, everything's different. My body different. I untake my titties. I've been crying all day for no reason. I'm out. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Here's the deal, though. Um, I lost all my benefits being a female. I lost all of them. Like, if I want somebody to open the door for me, guess who got to do it? Me. <laughs> if I'm cold, I'm just fucking cold. <laughs> I gotta pay for my bills and my girl's bills. I need to find me a man just so I can recoup half of the fucking money I spent. <laughs> Dating you chicks, right? And it's crazy, because a lot of dudes are switching over now, too, so shit is just getting weird completely. Real talk. Dude's clothes getting so tight, it's turning me back into a fucking female. I tried to go shopping the other day. I was like, hey, where's the men's section? They was like, this is the men's section. I was like, blouses and leggings? <laughs> what is this, the Migos collection? 